The old sergeant's mess here at Beacon Barracks is being demolished today. It's the last part of a £150 million redevelopment plan. And at the wheel of the bulldozer is the man in charge of overseeing the move from Germany back to the UK. Uh, we're now looking to base our soldiers in one place so, and not, gen not constantly move them around. And so we would expect now to integrate far better than perhaps we've done in the past into the community. Uh, and I challenge both the soldiers that are coming back and their families and Stafford uh, to make the most of that opportunity. And I know they will. Uh, both both um, organisations have already spoken to me and they're looking forward to it. And I think it'll be a, a success story, not only now in terms of delivering infrastructure, but also in three to four years when we see how well the communities have come together. Primarily a signals base, MOD Stafford has expanded from just 850 personnel to accommodate nearer 2,000 servicemen and women and their families. Ordinarily, industry experience tells us that what would be regarded as a fast project would probably deliver four homes a week. And um, we, we, had, we actually targeted ourselves at, at around about 15 a week here. So it, it's unprecedented in, in UK housing. And are you able to do that um, without skimping on, on standards? We are, but um, it, it, it doesn't come easily, so to speak. Um, we had to procure the right subcontractors that stand behind us, specialists each in their own trade. Um, we peaked at 450 operatives on the site for, for, a lot, for a large part of the duration. At a time when the UK industry, housing particularly, um, was extremely buoyant. Forces housing has long been a thorny issue, with underfunding leaving many in substandard accommodation. For those preparing for the move from Germany, there were concerns about what to expect. But here at Beacon Barracks, Forces families have been impressed. Elaine moved here with her husband and two small children less than three weeks ago. Well, as my husband had to go, the first, first day he had to go back to work. Um, he had to go back on exercise, so he's away for two weeks now. Um, I had to sort myself out, really, which I think was the best thing that really happened to me because I feel kind of home now. Um, I had to get to know to the area as well. And, um, yeah, I really like it here. I feel already at home, and I'm pleased that we got this post in or relocation here to Stafford, yeah. Keenly aware of the needs of the service community is the now Chief Executive of Staffordshire County Council, who was until recently the Commanding Officer of British Forces Germany. Yeah, and funny enough, I just had a conversation with the, the Prime Contractor here on the, on the housing build, and they've learned a huge amount from this build project. I mean, delivering 15 houses a week is really quite, you know, exceptional. And, and they've done that, you know, week after week, you know, and now we've now got the last of the houses handed over on time. I think there's a huge amount learned from this. The hope is that this redevelopment at Beacon Barracks will be the gold standard for all those still to come. Rosie Layden, Forces News, Staffordshire.